He said he put the goats by the left. And to them he said, I was hungry, you gave me no food. I was thirsty, you gave me no drink. So that's why you're at the left. The goats should be at the left, not at the right, because they don't know how to do anything right. Africans must wake up. Nigerians must wake up. We, we, I, I think we should be tired of having goats at the leadership. And all of us, too. In marriage. See, you can't go and marry a goat's wife and expect her to behave like a sheep. A goat's wife is a wife that all she does is eat. Oriak. Eat your husband's money. Eat food. Eat time. Eat everything. You are a direct opposite of what Proverbs 31 said. A good wife. Who can find her? I've told you before. Go and see the description of the good wife. It's not Oriak. Oriak is the most mischievous. I'm not sure it's men that actually invented that word, by the way. Go and see the, 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 the good wife. Her character is one of one who works. Does this. If you are in marriage and you are not meeting the obligation of marriage as a woman, you are a goat. Goat wife. A wife goat. I'm only applying biblical this, you know. They did nothing. Anybody who is occupying position and is doing nothing, what is the person? A goat. Goat husband. I'm like, oh, what? <laughs> Let me not even talk about that. But I'm very serious. If you don't meet the obligation of a certain position you occupy, you are a goat. Every position has an obligation. Marriage, to be a husband or a wife, or to be a father or a mother, or to be the parish priest or the choir master, any position you occupy, local government chairman, governor, president, it has obligations. If you are not meeting it, and you are sitting there, eating the privileges that come with such this thing, you are a goat. So, for the young ladies who are not yet married, and the young guys who are not yet married, before you marry, shine check whether it's good or shit. Because some people, you come into somebody's life and all you do is eat. By eating here, I'm speaking metaphorically. You eat the man or the woman's health. You eat his or her insanity. Because of it, somebody's almost running mad. You eat the person's peace. You eat the person's composure. Everything about you is minus, minus, minus from the person in whose life you are. You add literally nothing. We have God citizens. They add nothing, but they expect everything. God citizens, they don't do anything. They, they are lazy. But they want the country to do everything for them. Even people whom country has provided the avenue to thrive, pay tax, they are not paying tax. You are using the resources of the country, the security provided by the country, but you are not paying tax. You are a God. But remember, the ultimate is heaven. Every goat will go to hell. And you and I know where we are. And like I said, the things we need to do to go to heaven, very simple. Very simple. See now, is there any, is there any quadratic equation there? I was hungry. Food. Thirsty. Drink. In prison. He didn't even say you came to release me, but just that you visited. I was sick. He did not say you couldn't heal me. He said I was sick and you visited me. Naked. Are you clothed? Is there any code? Very simple things. We neglect all these things because they are simple. Sometimes it is simple things that we take for granted. Do you know as human beings we have the tendency of taking simple things for granted? You be like rich people. Rich people who have money, they do not measure the quality of something by the quality but by the price. I was shocked when I was um, in CKC at Chaplain. And a very rich guy was asking me with school and CKC was, CKC, Gwagwalada, always coming among the top schools in Waiyaki, Nigeria, run by the Mary's brothers. It's not just because it's a Catholic school. And I told the guy, bring your son. I know he's a lady. Bring, bring, bring him to CKC. She asked me how much is the school fees. I think then they were paying, is it 150? Then no. He said, how much? I said, between 150 or 200,000. She said, only. So yes, I said, no, my son cannot go to that school. Then I began to learn that there are primary schools in Abuja that people pay one point something million. God, these rich people, you are oppressing us. You are oppressing us. One point something million for primary school. Hey, is the child going to graduate with a BSc? <laughs> Sometimes we take simple things for granted. See the things that will take us to heaven. They are simple. 
But you can see how difficult it is. As somebody will tell me, the fact that something is simple does not mean it is easy. Some things are simple but not easy. Praise God. To watch full videos and get notifications for new ones, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. God bless you. Sign up with the largest community of Catholics online, make new friends, chat, post pictures and videos, make and receive audios and video calls, interact with lots of priests and religions, download the app from Google Play Store.